Section 0 0.1 is called sets. And a set is a group of things that all have something in common. An element is another one of our vocab words. It's one of the items in a set. For instance, I could say my set is colors of a rainbow. And then one of the elements in my set, colors of the rainbow, would be red or orange. Another set could be letters in the alphabet. And an element could be A. We can have lots of different sets and elements. This is just a group. This is a member in the group, basically. So example one is going to say, use set notation to write elements of each set, then determine whether the statement about the set is true or false. So there's two parts here. We have the part that is to write the elements of each set using proper notation and determine if it's true or false. So to start, we have n is the set of whole numbers greater than 12 and less than 16. So set notation, we start with it n equals, and right here, that symbol is what we use for set notation. Now, people often struggle to draw this when they first start. Some people will do one side and then the other side. Mine looks junky, as you can see. Um, others just put like a little swoop in there. This is the version I usually use, but whatever works for you. So back to this, n is the set of whole numbers greater than 12 and less, six, less than 16. So this is greater than 12, not greater than or equal to. So that means 13 is the first one. 13 is greater than 12. And we want every whole number greater than 12 and less than 16. So 13, 14, and 15 and then we end our set. So that is our set. We've done the first part, write the elements of each set. And then we need to write if it is true or false. So this says 15 is an element of n. This is our element symbol. Instead of writing the word element every time, we can just write this weird looking e. It's kind of like a c with a line in it. So 15 is an element of n. Yep, 15 shows up here. So this is true. Next, V is the set of vowels, and then G is the element of V. So we're going to say V is, usually when you see is in math, it means an equal sign. So V is the set of vowels. So our vowels are A, E, I, O, U, and sometimes Y. So A, E, I, O, U, sometimes Y, those are our vowels. And we want to say, okay, is G an element of V? Is G an element of this set? And the answer is no or false. Obviously, G isn't a vowel. For problem C, N is the set of months that begin with J. So N is or equals the set of months that start with J. So we're going to have January, February, nope, March, nope, April, no, May, no, June, and July, August, September, October, November, December, January. But we already have January, so these are it. So April is an element of M. Is April an element here? Is it one of the members of our group? No, so it is false. And lastly here, we have X is a set of numbers on a dice. I should have written a regular dice, um, but X is or X equals the set of numbers on a dice. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. And then our question is, is four an element of X? Is four an element? It is, it is part of the group. So we write true. And that's how you do example one.